Do you experience pain on the side of your hip in side-lying sleeping position and you ended up waking up in the middle of the night or you have difficulty going to sleep while in side-lying position if you're a side sleeper like me? Hi, my name is Annie and welcome to my channel, Annie Pilates Physical Therapist. If you're experiencing this deep nagging pain on the side of your hip for months and you don't know how to fix this problem despite massages, acupuncture, or other methods to help relieve this pain, then this is video is just for you. This is a follow along video as most of you requested from my previous video. You can check out the video here about hip pain in side lying sleeping position. And if you want to learn more about the anatomy and physiology, this is the video perfect for you. And this is the gentle progression with Pilates yoga physical therapy to engage your core muscles, your glutes muscles activation, especially if you have dead butt syndrome. And to learn more about that, I have a video about it as well to help strengthen the glutes muscles and also your hip external rotators that most of these muscles are attached on the hip joint that causes inflammation and we call that gluteal tendinopathy. To learn more about that, watch this video and if you're ready, then this is the gentle progression as I said with the elastic band. So get your mat ready and an elastic band to join me today. If you don't have an elastic band, you can still join the program. So you're going to learn about proper movement patterns, sequencing, form, breath work, core and lumbar stabilization. Once you learn the movement patterns and you find this easy, then you can also add the elastic band for a gentle progression or you can get ankle weights to really strengthen and engage your glutes muscles, your lower body movement patterns, your lower body strength your core and your lumbar muscles to support your spine and your pelvis. So let's begin the program. We're gonna place the elastic band around your thigh because this is the follow along video. There's more movement patterns you're gonna to learn today from comparison from the previous video. And if you still find this too difficult, you can always go back to the beginner program. We're gonna start lying on your back so you can really engage your core muscles. So with your knee bands, we're gonna start breathing first. Proper breath work is so important so you can engage your diaphragm muscles, your pelvic floor, and your overall core muscles, not just your abdominal muscles. So as you inhale with your knee bent, keeping your spine in neutral, place your hand at the small of your back to keep your spine a gentle curve. As you exhale, squeeze your core in, pressing your navel to your spine and breathe out. If you have weakness in your lower abdominal muscles, this is a great way as well. You pull in your navel to your spine, engage, tightening your lower abs, pulling it in as you breathe out. Inhale, expand diaphragmatic breathing. As you inhale, make your belly rise, diaphragmatic. Exhale, squeeze your core in, keeping your spine in neutral position, making sure you're not, you're not pressing at the small of your hand on your back. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Last one, breathe in and breathe out. Now place your hands at the side of your hips. Brace it well with your palm of your hands pressing down to the mat, pressing your feet on the mat as well. And we're gonna slowly do a bridge. Slowly lift your hips off the mat, tighten your glutes muscles. Imagine if there's a penny at the small of your butt crack and you don't wanna drop the penny. Squeeze it as hard as you can to engage your glutes muscles. All at the same time, squeezing your abdominal muscles in, navel to your spine as you breathe in. Belly rise, exhale, squeeze your core in, and then slowly roll down bone to bone, touching the mat, roll down and breathe out. Inhale, bridge, squeeze your core in, squeeze your glutes. Belly rise as you inhale, exhale, squeeze as hard as you can, and then roll down. Eight more. Bridge, belly rise, exhale down. Bridge, belly rise, exhale down. Six more, my friends. Bridge, belly rise, exhale down. Five more. You're gonna feel it more in your glutes as you go further to our program. Breathe out. 
three more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Last one, my friends. Bridge. And then I want you to hold that bridge. And we're going to challenge by lifting your heels off the mat. Tippy toes. Pointing your toes down. Pressing down to the mat. Inhale. Lift your heels. Exhale. Lower your heels down. Hold that bridge. Up and down 10 times. As you breathe in, breathe out. Five, four, three, two, and one. And roll down bone to bone to the mat. Exhale. Well done. We are progressing again. Bridge. Hold that bridge. Inhale. As you exhale, press your knee out to a butterfly. Exhale. Inhale as you place your knees together again. Exhale as you open. Keeping that bridge up. Belly rise as you inhale. Exhale as you open your knees out, squeezing your core in. Seven more. Six. Five. Breathe out as you open your knees out. Four. Two. Last one. And then roll down one vertebrae at a time as you breathe out. Well done. Now we are going to challenge your glutes again and your core. Bridge, belly rise. Inhale, as you exhale, squeeze your core in. And then we're going to march while keeping that bridge up. So you're going to alternate the tabletop, lift your top opposite leg while the other leg is still down. March, exhale as you go down. Inhale, as you switch to the other side, keeping that bridge. Exhale down, hold as much as you can. Try not to hyperextend your lumbar spine. Seven more, each leg. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. And exhale down, well done. Keep the bands near your knees area. Sometimes it rolls down and that's okay. Okay, we are progressing again. This time I'm gonna keep the opposite leg in a tabletop position, knee bent. So with your knee 90 degrees bent, I'm starting with my right leg. So my left knee is up to 90, placing my right foot down, press down to the mat. As I breathe in, I'm gonna bridge again, single leg in the tabletop position. So inhale, bridge, squeeze your core in as you exhale down. Breathe in up, exhale down. Eight more. It's a challenge. If this is too difficult, continue with double leg bridge. Six, five, the bands around your thighs. We're gonna give you an extra challenge. Three, two, and one and then lower your foot down well done now switch to the other side now my right knee is bent to tabletop my left foot is down to the mat so i'm going to target my left glutes now you might find one side weaker or one side stronger so now you can compare which one is your weaker side usually it's the painful side where you sleep on your side that causes pain will have more difficulty standing pressure or putting pressure on the weaker glutes. So it's gonna be harder to bridge on the weaker side. So you're gonna find out right now. Let's start. As you bridge, inhale, exhale down. Nine more. Eight, seven, and you might find this side could be harder for you to lift. Five, four, three, two, last one and one well done okay it gets harder my friends so we did the single leg bridge with your knee in tabletop now if you want to challenge you can do this now with your leg straight so it's going to be a little bit more challenging if you have tightness on your hamstrings so i'll start now with my left knee straight toes pointing to the ceiling so i'm plantar flexing keeping my foot my toes aligned with my knee and my hip if you can't if you're a little bit diagonal to 45 degree angle that's fine 
So it's gonna be more challenging, especially if you have tightness. And the opposite leg, my foot is really planted to the ground, my hands on my side. As you inhale, we're gonna lift, exhale down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Now let's switch to the other side. My right knee is locked. Keep it locked as much as I can. Ankle plantar flex, toes pointing to the ceiling. My left foot is planted down to the mat. I'm gonna brace myself to single leg bridge with my knee straight and lift. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. The next exercise is frog pump. So it's like a frog, knees open. So the elastic band will give you a nice sensory proprioception on your glutes. So tap it, open your knees out with my feet together. So my soles are facing together and we're gonna pump in this position. So with your knees out, place your hands to their side and lift. So you're gonna feel deeper to your glutes. Inhale, exhale down. Squeezing your core in as you go down, roll down slow and steady. Eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one, hold that position. And we're gonna do small pump, small range, not full range of motion, just small. And really imagining you're squeezing your buttocks as hard as you can. 10, nine, eight, seven, feel the burn. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Now let's lie on your side. You can lie down on the good side first. So if this is your bad side, it's on the top and the good side is underneath you. Lower your head, rest on your shoulder, elbows extended, one hand in front of you to help remind you to keep your spine in neutral and not to lean back. I'd rather you lean forward than lean back. So with your knees bent to 45 degrees with your hip and your foot is leveled to your buttocks, you're gonna start with clamshell. So clamshell is when you lift the knee only, keeping your feet together to a clamp. We'll do this 10 times. 10, 9, 8, 7, core engage. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now we're gonna place your knees a little bit level to your hips to 90 degrees this time. We're gonna do parallel clamp. So parallel clamp is gonna lift your foot and your knee at the same time, making sure they're parallel to the ground or the lower part of your knee and your foot. So you're gonna lift it up, making sure your foot is not too high or not too low. Up, and then exhale down, squeezing your core in. Eight, seven, six, feel the burn. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew, you're gonna feel the fatigue on the hip all the way to your thigh and outside of your knee. So the next one, we're gonna do a gentle progression with a parallel clamshell. We're gonna top, tap knee to knee and foot to foot. So as you lift your knee and foot up parallel to the lower part of your knee and your foot, you're gonna tap your knee to knee as you keep your foot up and then foot to foot. Knee to knee, foot to foot. Eight more, you're gonna feel the burn now. It's like your internal rotation and external rotating your hip. So the band is a challenge. Five, four, three, two, and one. Yes, Whew, that was lovely. And further progression, we're gonna do parallel clamp again with your knee and foot up parallel to the lower area. And this time we're gonna kick straight. So that will help really lengthen that area where you have spasm and tightness. And back to parallel clamshell, and then exhale down. Inhale as you lift, exhale as you extend, toes pointing away. Inhale, bend back to 90 degrees, and then exhale back to the starting position. So again, lift parallel clamp, 
exhale toes pointing away inhale back to 90 degrees exhale down seven more six five four so it's like two breaths in this movement pattern three two and one Whew. that was a beautiful burn on this hip okay my friends we are challenging with a little bit core and lumbar stabilization as i said so this is going to be a little bit more challenging for those with weak core but you can try it today so elbow level to your shoulder we're going to do a modified side plank you can have the opposite hand on the mat to protect you if you're really weak and we're going to lift the side hip so when you strengthen this area it helps your pain as well and then we clamshell hold on tight if you need to and then back down keeping that side plank modified version open and close to clamp seven more six five four three two and one well done now let's switch to the other side let's lie down on your left side this time so i'm lying my left knee 45 degree angle your feet is level to your hip rest your ear and head on your shoulder extend your elbow one hand in front of you so you're not leaning back and let's start clamshell keeping your core engaged inhale and exhale keeping your belly button to your spine six five keeping your feet together four you might find one side so much easier right and that's okay it's good to balance your body so you can compare which side is your weaker side so you can work harder and focus on the weaker glutes and one and you can do two sets on the weaker side to catch up with the stronger side okay my friends now knee level to your hip 90 degrees bent parallel clamshell knee and foot up the same time making sure not one side is higher level to the ground inhale and exhale down squeezing your core in seven more six five four three two and one Whew. well done tap your buttocks if you need to for proprioception especially to the part where you have the pain area because pain distorts connection to your muscle and when you tap it it connects through sensory to wake them up if you have glute, uh, dead butt syndrome or gluteal tendinopathy okay my friends now parallel clamshell with knee to knee foot to foot so you're going to internal and external rotate are you ready let's do this parallel clamshell knee to knee keeping your foot up and foot to foot and it looks like a clam nine more eight seven six five four three two and one Whew. that was beautiful now you're gonna feel a lovely fatigue all the way to your outside of your knee as well now we're gonna do the parallel clam with the kick are you ready my friends let's do this parallel clamshell and then kick length and toes pointing away back to parallel clam with your knee bent to 90 and then exhale down inhale as you lift exhale extend straight inhale bend exhale down seven more six five lengthen four three two and last one my friends and one Whew. 
well then let's challenge your core by doing some modified plank elbow level to your shoulder one hand in front of you for support and lift your hip up and then clamp shall hold that side plank 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 well done let's go to your hands and knees position to cool down now so hands level to your shoulders knees level to your hips we'll do some gentle cat and camel to mobilize your spine so cat and camel is a beautiful yoga stretch that you can help your back and neck pain so round your shoulder to an anchor cat pelvic curl belly button to your spine as you breathe in and then exhale slowly arch your lumbar spine buttocks out and slowly look up Extending your thoracic spine and your neck and breathe out. Inhale to an angry cat. Exhale up. Six more. Five. Feels so good on your spine. Four. Three. Two. Last one, and one. Well done. Now let's target your glutes a little bit by doing some fire hydrant. So fire hydrant is like being a dog. The dog, like how the, our dogs be on a fire hydrant. So still all fours position, and then we're gonna lift one knee up on your side, like being like a dog, keeping your spine in neutral, and back down. So open and close. Lift and down. Eight more, don't forget your breath work. Six, core engage, belly button to your spine. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now let's switch to the other side. So this really targets your core as well and your pelvis to be stable. So lift the opposite leg. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one usually a painful hip will be having some difficulty leaning on that knee and hip so it's going to be hard to lift the opposite leg so you really want to try to engage all those muscles and that's why this is so important to do both sides because the static hold is so important to heal the inflammation on your gluteal tendons where they insert the muscles okay let's progress again we're going to do hip extension with your knee bend so with your knee bend you're really targeting your buttocks more than with your leg extended because with your leg extended you're going to target your hamstrings sometimes with hamstring dominance so let's start with this with your knee bend toes pointing to the ceiling plantar flex and up and then back to starting position lift level to your hip and then down to the mat to rest if you need to rest down that's fine we'll do it 10 times 10 9 tap the mat gently 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 now switch to the other side 10 9 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Well done. Okay, my friends, we are doing the one with the knee straight. Even though I said earlier it targets your hamstrings a little bit more, it's important to support your glutes with the stronger hamstrings as well. So you don't neglect other muscle groups so with your leg extended toes down to the mat and then slowly lift and tap down with your toes starting position with your leg extended okay and lift up just level to your hip eight seven keep your core engaged try not to twist your spine slow controlled try not to use momentum five four three two and one now let's switch to the other side Extend your leg, this time my left knee, and lift, tap with my toes down. Nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. We are slowly progression with some downward dog to stretch your back. So downward dog is a great way to stretch your hamstrings and to cool down properly. So grab the mat with your toes, lift your both knees up, march left, right, tap your heels, and extend your hamstrings, and then your calves muscles, stretch them slow and steady. Keeping your upper back engaged, making sure the pressure points is in your inner forearms all the way to your thumbs. Breathe in and breathe out. Now we're gonna heel toe, both heels tapping down to the mat. Five, four, core engage. Two, last one, and one. And now we're gonna cool down with some pigeon stretch. I'm gonna lower my right knee first between my hands in front of me. I'm gonna have the band all the way to your hips now, and that's fine. Because we're cooling down now, we don't really need it. We just need to stretch your hips now. Press your hands down the mat, extend your elbows, look up, and stretch your back and your neck. Ah, that was a lovely stretch. And hip flexor on your and after stretching those lovely hip flexors, your neck and upper back. Now we're gonna slowly lean forward for a gentle forward fold. Slowly lower your hips, your chest down to the mat, extending your arms forward and your elbows. And let's hold this in two deep breaths. You can feel this on your right glutes as you inhale and exhale. This is good for your tight glutes muscles, especially the insertion where you have the pain in sideline position. Slowly press your hands up. We're gonna place your right foot back to the end of the mat for a downward dog. March left and right again, because we're gonna transition it to the opposite leg for a pigeon stretch. Now, tippy toes, heel up, both heels and heels down. Two more. Last one, and then lower your left knee with your knee bent in front of your both hands for a lovely pigeon stretch. Press your hands straight, elbows straight. Press your hands down to the mat. Feel that lovely stretch on your hip flexors on your right. And look up for a lovely neck stretch as well. Open your upper back, inhale, and then exhale forward fold. Hold this in two beautiful deep breaths. Rest your forehead to the mat if you can. And that's it. I'm hoping you enjoyed my lovely follow along video if you're suffering from hip pain in sideline sleeping position. If you have any questions, suggestions, or concerns about this video, and if you want me to do more videos just like this one, leave a comment down below, and I'll try my best to answer each one of you and give your video requests into the future. So I know what exercises you want me to do, and so I could connect with each one of you. And you can follow me on my other social media platforms. If you want direct message from me, I have my email address as well on the description below. If you want to follow along more and learn more about Pilates, yoga and physical therapy health and wellness please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like and share this video every like you give to my channel you are supporting me my back master class is closing soon if you want to join my class i still have a few more days left and i will won't reopen again until january 2023 for those who needed help if you're suffering from back pain weak or poor posture and if you have pelvic floor weakness or umbilical hernia and if you want to learn more about hip pain in sideline sleeping position watch this video next until my next video training, always remember, be safe, be well, and healthy you. Bye!